key points for defending the one-on-one. -on -one. one is have good body position. Have net me man position. In other words, keep yourself between the man and the net. Second point, stick on puck, body on body. Stick on puck is very important. And your eyes up on the body, as you've seen in the past video. Gap control, that's the distance between the puck carrier and the defender, has to be at least two stick lengths. And in order to do that, you got to control skating, and it all starts in the offensive zone. But good gap control is open, is important, and staying up. Pivots backwards to forwards, forwards to backwards are important to practice, and angling off and finishing your checks. Let's take a look at some NHL clips. McKinnon racing into the Blackhawk zone. Good stick. Keeps McKinnon racing into the Blackhawk zone. Good stick. Keeps McKinnon racing into the Blackhawk zone. Good stick. Keeps McKinnon racing into the Blackhawk zone. Good stick. Playoffs and went to a third overtime. Here comes Wilson. In front for Connolly. He scores. Time. 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 For a little bit longer, for a little bit longer. Up for Barber's jab, too much name it. And Nurse stays with him, and Nurse. streak in the Ontario Hockey League when he left for Canada's camp. Elpedio across to Morgan. And now McKinnis sends it in. We watched McKinnis 19 game point streak in the Ontario Hockey League when he left for Canada's camp. Elpedio across to Morgan. Away. Able to pick up Palmieri. Foul Palmieri. Forced one. Able to pick up Palmieri. Foul Palmieri. Forced one. A stick on that puck to deflect it from where it's going. So, if that player has the puck and you're finishing that player, 